Hello, I'm Steve with Touch the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to talk to you today about a little bit about. I mean, I don't want to do this, but because I don't want to politicize anything, but pray for Donald Trump as a person, because all hell is about to break loose in his life. He's about to face destruction, not just as a president, but as a person, and as personal. I mean, this whole stuff is all leading to his financial makeup. I'm just telling you what God's telling me, what the Holy Spirit, what Jesus is telling me. I don't want to do it. I'm going I'm to offend people. Because it's like, pick a side or pick a part. He's a prophet or he's a pathological liar that lied three or four thousand times. I'm going to offend somebody. And I don't want to offend people. I'm not out to offend people because people start closing off. Look at a lot of my other messages because they're just, it's, pray for him that he finds Jesus in the midst of, of this fiery storm that he's about to step into. Some of it's self-inflicted, guys. I get it. I understand, you know. He hasn't probably done everything above board in this business world. And that's what's going to get him. They're going to find a little bit of collusion or whatever in the Russian thing. <clears throat> but they're really after the financial picture. They're following them on. A lot of hatred. Of course, people don't want him as president. <clears throat> of course, it's pretty obvious. But I'm telling you to pray for him as a person, and his wife, and his children, because they're not seeming to get a free pass <clears throat> like some of the others. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> it's kind of a twisted, sordid story guys but I'm telling you pray for the man as a person that he finds Jesus in amongst this he can get a hold of God because his world is about to flip upside down not just as president but in the personal realm he could end up in jail he could end up broke I mean there's a lot coming his way guys so, I'm just telling you, pray for him. I'm not picking sides and all this other crap. Because there's a lot of it out there. Fox News, CNN, either one, pick one. Both polarized and opposite sides or whatever. <clears throat> all about Russia and the social media and the mistruths. But what about our media that's mis misleading us, you know? Guys, you know, everything is dirty. Just a bunch of ungodly things going on. Mistruths, misguided, misdirected, you know, everything's racist. Or political bunch of hatred I mean turn it on at three in the morning five in the morning whatever you know and pick a, pick a time pick a day it's like just a bunch of crap you know guess what I'm 57 and I'm not racist how about that I got saved in 1980 and spent nine years under black ministry six in an all-black church on Dallas Preston Road and Spring Valley rich rich area over there by where George Bush has a house Millions of dollars of homes, but it's a poor church, poor black church. I'm the only white guy in there. But I was just glad to be saved, guys. Who am I to tell God all this other stuff? So guess what? That doesn't fly with me. But the news portrays it into all kinds of crap that it's not. 
There is a little bit of a witch hunt out there, you know. I get it. I understand that. But I don't think Mueller's part of it. I really don't. I think he's just a career guy that's very... I think he's trying to be a stand-up guy, really, honestly. He's just like going down where he's, where he's headed to. He's just following the trail. And he's going to become part of it, but unknowingly... He may have people with him that are involved in that, but I don't think he's leading it. Honestly, I don't. That's not the case and the facts and all the other stuff that's going with it. It's that he has an, Donald Trump has... A, we all have enemies of our soul. And it's time for him to see Jesus triumph in all this. Same with us. You know, it's like, there's so much to tell you and say, and this is kind of political and I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be, but it's like, I don't know if y'all ever seen that cartoon, Where's Waldo? He's in amongst a crowd and it's a cartoon character that is in a book and you got to try to find him in amongst the crowd. That's kind of where we're at in a lot of the church swirl and world. Where's Jesus? He's taken on the equation. Pulled out, set aside, some other plan. Everybody wants to talk about God. God, 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 God. Okay, great, awesome. I want a relationship with God himself too. But you got to go through Jesus. That's his plan. Read your Bible, guys. Let's go to Matthew 20. Kind of cuts through all the equality crap that's out there. We all get the same pay. We all equal in God's sight. <clears throat> so much ministry stuff and people that are just power and position. And, you know, it's power, money, sex. Oh, look at pick one, any of them. <clears throat> Look what's happening to Trump. Stormy Daniels crap. The power crap with the Russian pull trying to become president. The money thing. I'm just telling you guys, pray for the guy. It's time for this. Just pray for him as a nation. You might, you might like him. You might not like him. Pray for the guy because he's about to hit rock bottom on this one deal, guys. And his wife and his children. And these are prayers. So do, all, so do all people, though. That's the thing. That's the catch. That's the... Look at some of my other messages. Please, 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 just tune in some of the other messages because it, 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 there's a lot to it, guys. There's a lot to say, guys. And there's a lot to do. And I'm just the vessel. I'm just doing the obedience part. That's where I'm at. It's time for people in the ministry, especially, to get over themselves. Big I, little you. I hear God and you don't. Jesus cut through all that. It's time. Who's your source? That's one of my messages. Not one of my main messages. But anyhow, it's time to pray for President Trump. But who's your source? Where are you getting your information from? God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and the Word. If it's not coming from there, sorry, I'm just not listening. I'm not buying, I'm not jumping on it, I'm not going down that road, that rabbit hole, that bandwagon. I'm just not. And I'm telling you guys not to either. Pray for the man. Cut through all this other crap and visceral hatred and disrespect and just, man, it's like, pile of crap, really. I lived through, you know, I'm older. I lived through Vietnam. I saw all kinds of twisted up stuff that this country went through, but it seems like it's pretty twisted up now. The last election was horrible. And look at all the things that were said about the different candidates during the primaries. Marco Rubio and Jeb Bush and just I mean, it's like, man, and Hillary, and just their emails, and it's like, bring, dragging up 
Bill Clinton and his affairs with Monica. And it's like, dang, guys. Back to what I said. That, like that cartoon, where's Waldo? Where's Jesus in all this? Pray for President Trump as a person that he sees Jesus in this. That's kind of where I'm going. I'm going. I don't want to get into political and all this sort of crap. It's kind of like, because it's not. I'm trying to interject Jesus into this. So pray for him. Um, vote for him or didn't vote for him or all, you know. It's just all this swirl of stuff. Pray for our leaders and that they start making the right decisions and start, you know, just, I don't know where I'm going with all this. I kind of do and I kind of don't. Um, I didn't really want to put this message out there like the Lord told me to, so really I kind of want to stay focused on just praying for Donald Trump as a person and his wife Melania and their children. That they'll see Jesus in amongst all this mess that's going on. Because really, there is a campaign against him, but it's really the enemy. I'm not claiming him to be a prophet. I'm not going down that rabbit hole. I'm not going down the rabbit hole of a pathological liar. I'm saying there's an enemy for our souls, and there is a orchestrated because people don't like his opinions and, and who he is. They did the same to Bill Clinton. They tried to do it to George Bush. They tried to do it to Obama. Like, man, guys, where's Jesus in all this? So pray for the guy. Time for the church to pony up. Pray for the guy. Pray for him. That whatever happens, he gets through this. It sees Jesus on the end. Because really, that's what it's all about. So anyhow, please look at some of my other messages. I'm not trying to be political. Because, like I said, I could say Donald Trump's a prophet, and half, I don't even do the math, half, whatever, will agree and half won't, mad, not mad, and then say he's a pathological liar, half will agree, and not mad, not mad, and it's like, enough, nonsense. Where's Jesus in all this? Pray for the guy. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what that's that's what the Lord told me to put out there. Pray for President Donald Trump. Don't like the name President, whatever, but pray for Donald Trump as a person, pray for his family. Because he's in a world of hurt, guys. And some of it's self inflicted. I get it. I understand. He hasn't you can kind of see the handwriting on the wall. He hasn't been a scrupulous businessman like he's portrayed himself to be. There's some issues there. I understand that. I can understand why people are mad and angry about that. But there's all this stuff, but it's like... Read, read my message about Colossians 3.16 being just as important as John 3.16. So anyhow, let's pray for the guy. Love y'all. Um, just kind of wanted to get that out there. I got other messages and a lot of other stuff to say, but for whatever reason, this was highlighted today. Pray for Donald Trump as a person, as a man. That he sees Jesus in this. I call them landmarks, but that he has a landmark, Holy Ghost experience, life changing, life altering. Yea, God. Moment in his life. So, love you. See you. Um, looking forward to all the emails. Even some hate mail, I don't really care. Let's just, you know, comment. Look at my other videos. Love you guys. Um, I want to kind of try to stay focused on the other things. The main thing being Jesus. But 
this was a highlight today. I've got to be obedient. The Lord told me to do it. So pray for Donald Trump. God bless you. Bye-bye.